Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host, Robert. All right, so in the worth 400 at Dover, we had the Relap 83 with Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, and Brandon Poole. Um, this was a lot like the J.J. Yelly and Denny Hamlin thing at Richmond when he's just driving in the back of him. Um, I know I've listened to people and seen people online listen to XM Satellite Radio today and people saying that NASCAR needs to do something about Ross Chastain and every single week he does this kind of stuff. Well, apparently he does do it every week. He's still leading points right now. Um, did he get over, over aggressive there? Yeah. But when Chastain is fourth and you have a car that's a lap down, and the first three, for top three, have already went by him. You got to get out of the racing groove. I'm sorry. And it looked like he checked up. Now, Clint Boyer did say he was in the way. Um, does that justify what Ross did and Ross's reaction? No. Um, let's take a look at the actual incident and kind of re refresh what actually happened here. So here we take a look at that. As you can see, it looked like he slowed down and went in the corner because Dylan got past him. And so... I mean, I'm not condoning Ross for doing that. Ross is an aggressive driver. What I'm saying is NASCAR is not going to do things. Here's the thing. If you want NASCAR to do something about him being aggressive. Go watch an F1 race. That's what you're turning NASCAR into. Because you can't penalize Ross Chastain for being aggressive and not penalize other people. It doesn't work that way. And for the people that call in to XM Satellite Radio Channel 90 and say, well, Denny Hamlin got penalized. Why can't Ross? Because Ross has never went on a podcast and said, I took him out on purpose. I did it. I did it. I did it on purpose. And Hamlin did that. Ross has always been, I didn't mean to do that. I need to apologize to those guys. That's not what I intended. Ross is aggressive, plain and simple. Does he need to not be aggressive? Maybe. But this is the second time that this has happened with a Rick Ware car. Then Hamlin did it at Richmond. Now, you can look on Robert Sports Show. I've done several videos on reactions to things just as this. Now, there's going to be some that involve Kyle Larson. There's going to be some that involve... So if you go to the main page, I have a playlist set up for reaction videos. <laughs> And you can look at those that I've done this year. And I think there might be some of the topics as well. Actually, topics might be a little older. So we're going to look back on there and see what is there. So we had the Bubba one. We had Patsy at Martinsville. Uh, Mayor and Riley Herbst and, Riley and Ryan Truex. Carson Hosafar, Kyle Larson and Ryan Parise. Interesting. We had, let's see, Christopher Bell dumping William Byron, Denny Hamlin dumping J.J. Yaley, um, the Hendrick penalty stuff. Um, let's see, Bubba got into Larson, Chastain wrecked, Kevin Harvick, I think that was Atlanta. Um, let's see, Chastain and Hamlin, episode, season two, episode two. <laughs> Um, let's see here. The end of stage two, I guess, truck series. 
And then we can go back to last year's stuff as well. Um, let's see here. Bubba and Larson from last year. See, what I'm getting now with this is we've seen multiple drivers kind of do the same thing. Seems like Larson's always a victim. But if anybody should be mad at Ross Chastain, first is Brandon Poole. But also, we got to look at another part of it. And again, I'm not justifying what he did. He got in the back of him too early. But Brandon Poole shouldn't have been in the racing line being a lap down. He already let the leaders go. He, this is his first race in the next-gen car. We all know it drives differently. His first race in Cup since 2020. Maybe he shouldn't have been there, and then this wouldn't have happened. But Ross needs to chill it down a little bit. But people say that they want him penalized, that Justin Marks needs to get penalized. You start penalizing drivers for aggressive driving, that opens up such a slippery slope that the end result is what F1 is, where nobody can touch each other, and the racing's boring. Yeah, I'll think it's boring now. Let's have it where we can't touch one another without getting penalized and then see how you like it. Just my reaction. Um, I'm not a Ross Chastain fan. Do I want him to calm it down a little bit? Eh, that's the way he is. That's his style. But you know what? Maybe he needs to just, just a little bit. Just watch this, the, the, point, the points he does things. Could this have been prevented? If Brandon Poole slowed down, I'd love to see the SMT data. If Brandon Poole slowed down that much in front of Ross, what's Ross supposed to do? Ross can't check. I mean, what's going to slam the brakes, slide it sideways, back in the wall himself? I didn't want to hit him. So I took out five cars instead. But we'll see what comes from this. I don't think anything will. But that is my reaction to Ross Chastain. Oops, I did it again. Thanks for watching the Rubber Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. This is the Rubber Sports Show, your YouTube leader sports channel content.